hello guys welcome back to our channel you guys might be wondering that uh, the voice is not similar to cp addict a or cp addict b so here i am your host and dost cp addict c so this is my first video and today i would be discussing a puzzle asked in a tech giant interview so the puzzle goes like this the question uh you have to just maximize the number of pieces of cakes after making each cut so let's note it down maximize the number of cake pieces after each cut and the cake is circular and the question asked to me was that we have made cuts 137 so the number of pieces are i have to tell the number of pieces after 137 cuts so how to proceed to this problem the solution this problem is let's take an example let's say this is the cake and initially we have not made any cut so cuts is 0 and pieces are 1 now we'll start making a cut after one cut so we have made one cut pieces come out to be 2 now we'll make two cuts so how can we maximize uh Uh, how can we maximize the number of pieces after two cuts so the first cut would go like this and uh, the second cut would go like this <coughs> so the cuts are two and pieces are four so now you can please pause the video and make a cake and make the third cut on it so that would be very beneficial to you guys so let's say i hope you have solved the problem by now now we'll start making the cuts the first cut second cut and you guys might be wondering that we can make a cut like this passing from the center but that would give us only six pieces of cakes but if we cut the previously made cuts also like this we would be getting seven pieces okay not the point we have to cut all the previously made cuts by us so we would be getting seven pieces cut is third cut and number of pieces are seven so now we would like to derive the formula for the nth cut so we'll try to write the some we'll try to write some of the equations uh, for first cut oh let's say for zero cut pieces are one first cut second cut third cut pieces are two pieces are four now the number of pieces comes out to be seven so you can see that find out some pattern in this you have to add this to this this to this and this to this okay so you have to add the cut number to the previously made pieces to get the number of pieces of the current cut okay so now we can derive the recurrence relation from this these above equations like this now we'll be writing the recurrence relations recurrence relation for mesion okay so for nth cut we would require <coughs> to be the smaller problem to be solved plus 
the number of pieces so similarly it goes like this only f of n minus 1 is equals to f of n minus 2 plus n minus 1 it goes on like this till the base case is arrived and the base cases goes like this f of 1 would be equal to f of 0 plus 1 and f of 0 is 1 okay so the cut number of cuts is 0 so we only have one cake piece now we would be adding all these terms so this every term would get cut this will cut by this this by this so both the sides will only be left with f of n would be equal to n plus n minus 1 plus n minus 2 and so on 1 plus 1 okay we have two ones the first one is this and the second one is this so this is nothing but an arithmetic progression as you can see or arithmetic progression with a as 1 and common difference as 1 or sum of first n natural numbers which is equals to n into n plus 1 by 2 plus 1 okay uh, so which comes out to be n square plus n plus 2 by 2 so with the help of this arithmetic progression formula we could get the solution for any cut in O of 1 time so the question asked to me was for cuts made were 137 I have to give them the number of pieces so the answer would be 137 into 138 divided by 2 plus 1 so let's now see who comes out to be the first one to give me the solution of this multiplication problem oh I would be the first one only because I have solved this problem previously as well in my interview and the answer comes out to be 9454 so the name of this problem was it's a lazy caterers problem which I searched on the internet just to check my solution is right or not lazy caterers okay you can find the solution on the net as well but i think i have tried my level best to make the solution as simple as possible so this is the answer basically they were interested in this formula it was just a multiplication check for me okay so i hope you have liked the video so please like share and subscribe to our channel bye bye thank you